A new wave of even colder weather is threatening huge swaths of the country. And the concern right now are these rolling outages. This is such a scary situation for everyone who does not have power tonight. The entire state, for the first time in weather history, temperatures are a solid 40 to 50 degrees below normal. The agency overseeing Texas's power grid has declared its highest emergency level in over a decade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Another one bites the dust. Well, things don't always go as planned. Uh, we chose Texas because we thought we could avoid the snow and freezing temperatures. But unfortunately, this is what we were recently hit with. That is a nice little winter storm here in Austin. Uh, it's currently 21 degrees. It's going to get down to 10 degrees. And tomorrow it's going to be even colder. An inhospitable wasteland. But even here, we find life. You guys, look. <laughs> it's snowing. This is crazy. Okay, be, Nathan, be very careful. Oh my God. Nathan. It's the perfect texture for running, very low impact. Dude, I seriously can't believe that it's snowing here. It's better, I think. You <laughs> see? Pick the best day to do laundry. <laughs> the reason we're walking to get it, because our whole windshield is completely frozen on our car. And we we waited. We thought we'd be able to do laundry after the storm, and we have like no clothes left. And tomorrow's so. worse. So this is the beauty of RV life. We just met a girl who actually has been following our YouTube channel for a while, and they were right next door to us. So they're here. We're there. We're gonna go over and have a drink with them. Barbara Streisand. Well, we had a lot of fun with our friends last night. You could probably hear it in my voice. I'm gonna show you what it looks like today outside. Oh yeah, fresh powder. Seriously? <laughs> Look at that. At least the sun's out on our tanks. Oh my god. Everything is submerged in snow. But last night when we got home, we lost electricity last night at 2 a.m. So our space heater and everything else doesn't work. The, the first way that we know that our power is out is when this light flashes on, meaning our fridge is running off propane. And then we noticed that our microwave is off. We left the furnace running all night and then I woke up probably like six, turned it off. When I got up, I noticed that our window seals were completely frozen on the inside, which we've never had before. I kind of feel bad actually, because if there's anybody else in this park that their furnace isn't working, that sucks. So I just talked to the manager on site and he's saying that we could go without electricity for the next 48 to 72 hours. I've also learned that a lot of people here at this park are in a much worse circumstances. Like some people have, their, their water's frozen so they have no water, they have no propane, they're out of propane, and they have no electricity. So our little space heater is sadly out of commission, but you might be able to hear our furnace is on right now. And that's right here. So this will be able to heat up our entire RV. However, it runs on propane. I think we're only about maybe three fourths full and our other tank is empty. So we are gonna have to get that checked out. Our main challenge right now, our focus is we just wanna stay warm because it is gonna drop again to nine degrees tonight. Without guaranteed warmth for what looks to be an incredibly frigid night ahead. So yeah, but at least we have running water and I'll show you guys how we have kept that going. We're just letting the slightest amount of water drip. And as long as there is a constant drip, um, it can't freeze. So this is open. This is because we have water trickling down from our faucet so it doesn't freeze. Oh gosh, this feels good on the face. 
Ooh, windshield, no. Shit. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is like nice powder. Yeah. You have your snowboard. You could literally snowboard down the street. No freaking way. <laughs> I'm telling you. Are you serious? Yeah. Freaking A, man. Hey, but at least we got sun on our tanks right now. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Um. Escalibur. <laughs> hey, All right, so now we're gonna drive around and see if we can get some gas for our generator, propane for our furnace, and hopefully get us some more snacks before the masses get to the grocery store because we're running out of supplies. We are at this gas station. I was lucky enough to get a spot. Some of these cars here are completely empty and they're stuck. So Nathan's filling that up so that we can use our generator. So the grocery store opened eight minutes ago and it's absolutely jam packed right now. And people are actually parking on the side of the road. Yeah, maybe we should too, I don't know. No, seriously, because this is gonna be a shit show. H-E-B. Like the apocalypse. Bananas are completely sold out. It's so crazy. Look at all this. I can't believe everything is gone. The line starts right there. Oh no, car stuck up here. The drama continues. The last two days we didn't have electricity and then yesterday afternoon we miraculously got it. We were so excited so we were able to use our space heater last night. And then this morning I went to go make tea and I noticed that the water was barely coming out. So I started to freak out. I'm like, oh no, is our, is our hose frozen? Could it be the water spigot? We tried everything. And then I asked our neighbor if they were having the same issue and they were. So I started to think it must be the water because it's not our pipes, it's not our hose, it's not the spigot. And so we just asked our neighbor and he talked to the guy across who talked to the manager. The city of Austin has now turned off the water. We do have some breaking news to bring you tonight. The entire city of Austin now under a boil water notice. Just adding to the problems for so many folks who are without electricity and water. I believe I can fly. So Nathan just spent the last, here he comes in with the hose. Nathan just spent the last few minutes trying to bring all this in. Uh, Cause we gotta keep this warm so it doesn't freeze. But luckily we have this water in here. So our neighbors were kind enough to also offer us to have extra bottled water. So they were nice to say yeah. that. Yeah. I was about to melt some snow, you know, and then <laughs> I saw this yellow snow and I was like, oh, wow, lemonade flavor. Mm. No, shut up. You're crazy. It's been wild, but I will say the best thing of it all has been how everyone has come together. Single combo! Single combo! All the neighbors are talking to each other every single day talking about, is your electricity on? Is your water on? How are you doing? Do you need this? Do you need that? All right, ready? Yeah. It's come to this. <laughs> you gotta hold it up so it has some air going in. I didn't do so good. Is this good your in first rodeo? In <laughs> this is for uh, showering and flushing the toilet. Worst comes to worst. We'll drink it. <laughs> our water rations. Olivia's monitoring our water rations. <laughs> 
Don't drop a single drop on the goddamn ground right now. Come on. Keep it together. <laughs> I'm losing it. Oh. oh, it's filled. It's filled, actually. I'm kind of nervous, though, because... <laughs> Our black tank is pretty much full and tomorrow the sun's gonna come out and it's probably gonna be able to melt then But like we're on the edge of glory here, you know, so one too many poops and